because I'm angry, okay? Angry? She wasn't expecting the anger. Yeah, not only did you show up here after all these years, you brought a man to rub your happiness into my face as well? Will you finally be asked out on a date? And what the heck was that look you and your friend exchanged on the dance floor? Yes, today we are back with the next part of Wedding Fever on the episode XO app on Apple Arcade. If you have not seen the other ones, catch up right here. We're in a mess. We're in an absolute mess right now. Our character, she is going through and doing the most. She has two men after her. She needs to pick one of them to get married to in 30 days. Time is ticking though. We're not at 30 days anymore. We're at like 20 something. Time is flying. Our one friend Kyle, who that's Tom smitten with for her. He came from New York. He's Mr. Model. He's her city life friend, her best friend. The connection is there. He's tried to say things a few times. It never fully came out, though. The flirtiness is there. The care is there. He is so good for her. But there's Mark, her ex fiance, who she left with the letter. Yes. Yes, her old country boyfriend who still has feelings for her. She's back in her country town, reconnecting with her family, reconnecting with Mark. And even though he's trying to stay away from her, which he really should, let's be honest, he's fallen for her again. I don't even know if he's fallen for her again. He's never not been fallen for her, I think. Yeah. So now someone's going to ask her out on a date who we're going to find out. But if you enjoyed this video and want some more episode, please consider giving the video a like because it helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's start the wedding fever drama. Okay, so this is where we left off last time. Mark, um, what's up? I wanted to talk to you about what? So look at her. She's over here. Miss Flirty's like, so... Suddenly, Mark's eyes turn cloudy as he bites down on his lower lip. Sorry, this was a stupid idea. I'll just leave you to it. Oh! Oh, he just walks away! You watch Mark as he walks away from you yet again. But even though he's walking away, you can tell how much harder it is for him this time. Oh, we followed. Mark, please talk to me. Why did you follow me outside? Because I'm angry, okay? Angry? She wasn't expecting the anger. Yeah, not only did you show up here after all these years, you brought a man to rub your happiness into my face as well? Now, sweetie, it's not happiness. I mean, it's going to be happiness in the future. We're turning into happiness. Yes, yes, yes. But um, it's a mess. You care. Of course I care, Bianca. What? <laughs> she, she does not hide her emotion. She's like, you care? But apparently you don't care about me one bit. Um, You told me that you don't want me anymore. Okay, what did you expect? That I continue to watch you and Sabine being all lovey-dovey? That hurts me. You think Sabine and I are together, girl? You can't even lie. You can't even lie about this. You can't even make something up about the situation, sis. Well, of course, she clings on to you wherever you go, and we're not dating Bianca. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I know that she wants more, but I told her that I'm only interested in being friends, and that's all we've ever been. And Sabine, of course, doesn't understand that. We don't even really know Sabine, but we know she's kind of garbage. <laughs> I'm a little judgy about that, but I can just feel it friends oh you and kyle are you guys together mark's voice comes out very shaky kyle is my best friend we're no couple oh i feel so bad for kyle really you look super close on the dance floor yeah but our relationship is purely platonic not if i have something to say about it okay bianca how come what's the issue um He's not the type to marry. He's just not the type to marry. So nothing has ever happened between you two? I don't know if that was the right choice. Your muscles tense hearing this question. For years, you had hoped something to happen. But you're tired of waiting. Especially if all you are is a flirt to him. He has made that clear. Oh, oh no. Did anything ever happen between me and Kyle? Okay, never has and never. Well, that's a total lie. We know. I'm to someone else. That's a total lie. We know it. So the last option. Nothing has ever happened between us, except for that look we exchanged on the dance floor. Make your move, Kyle. Hey, Kyle, are you living already? Yeah, I'm feeling a bit exhausted. Oh, I know that you're still hurting, but I'm not giving up without a fight. I'm here because of you, and I can feel that there's still something. <gasps> Steffi's going to overhear this. Bianca Forster, are you asking me out on a date? We could call it a date, just a date between him. Oh, he looks so happy. I feel so bad for Mark, but I feel so bad for Kyle. I feel for these men. 
I just <laughs> they get together instead. Um, we could call it a date, a meeting, I am, or just a date between old friends. I don't know what the right option is. Because I feel like I don't know. We could call it a date. I don't know what to pick. I guess we haven't like locked in our option yet. We could call it a date, meeting, whatever you feel comfortable with. I would love to go on a meeting with you and see how it goes. Maybe we need to do this stuff for us. Let's go on a meeting with him first. Because I do like Mark. I really do. I just, I'm nervous because he's been hurt in the past. I feel bad for hurting him again. Kyle's perfect for her current lifestyle. That's where I'm confused with Mark. Mark is Mr. Country. He doesn't leave this town. Whereas Bianca... She's meant, she wants to go to New York. She wants to do her fashion career. She wants to live in the city. I think she is a city girl, but she's country as well. She loves going back and forth. But the real question is, could Mark do that? That's what I'm worried about for her, is clearly being country only. It's not for her. She would be forcing it upon herself. Just like we'd be forcing Mark to do city. So that's why I feel Kyle's the better pick. But I do adore Mark. I really do. Oh, I can't believe she's flirting with Mark when she has you. Let me talk to her. No, please don't. Why not? Can you keep a secret, Steffi? He's going to tell Steffi the next day. Oh my gosh, we're going to have to like. How could he do this to me? Hey, Pastor Andy Stern wasn't that bad. Not that bad. He spoke in such a cryptic and complicated way. I couldn't even tell you what it was about anymore. He wanted to make sure we were all listening. He definitely achieved the opposite. <laughs> I guess I got used to it. Living in this town means church on Sundays. And I uh, really like it. Hate that I have to get up so early. I mean, period. And then love how our community comes together. I mean, I... I mean... I, feel, I don't know. I feel like I like how the community gets together, but Sissy went catching me at that 7 a.m. sermon. I'm not getting up that early. I can't sleep in on Sundays as well. At least you get that. Good that you don't have to get used to it then, I guess. Why are you so tired anyway? You left early last night. You must have gotten enough sleep. My night actually turned out to be super long. Why? There's nothing to do here. But there's phone reception and Natalia called me. Oh, you two talked all night, hmm? Yeah, because I broke up with her. <gasps> oh, you broke up? Yeah, I wanted to do it personally, but she was being really pushy. That's such a shame. Oh, what a shame. Oh, no. But I don't understand why you would break up with her all of a sudden. Are you going to tell your true feelings? I just didn't feel like I was being fair to her. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Kyle? It wouldn't be fair to her when there's another girl on my mind. Oh, is there another girl? Bianca, Pastor Andy would like to speak to you. Hello, Bianca. I hope I'm not interrupting anything important, but you low-key are Pastor Andy. He kind of is. It's fine. We're not going to be rude. If someone is allowed to interrupt, it's you, Pastor Andy. Please come with me. Uh, sorry, but I've got to. Don't worry. I can be patient. Okay. Patient for what? Daddy, what is this about? You didn't say anything to him, right? This has absolutely nothing to do with me. Uh, um, Mr. Forster, that was an aspiring speech, wasn't it? Certainly. So how many grandchildren? Huh? I wouldn't suggest just one having two is always better. They can support each other. Or am I and their father when they're being entirely unfair? Oh, and will you buy her a house? I assume as a designer, Bianca has lots of clothes and she needs space. <laughs> He's trying to be a father again. Also, I had to get you from the city and probably want to stay there. But would you consider moving? Because it's important that you're flexible until Bianca knows what she really wants. Oh, he's lost for words. So, um, to be honest, I never really pictured myself with kids. Or a house. Or living in the countryside. Or rushing into marriage, of course. Oh. Well, as long as you make her happy, it doesn't matter, I guess. Right. The awkwardness. So what do you say? Marfa would have wanted you to have it. What? What? Uh, she said that you're the only one who really understands the spirit and power of fashion. Marfa left me her clothing store? Yes, as long as it remains a fashion store managed by you. I would totally kill it, let's be honest. I'm like the perfect person for this. Definitely, otherwise my mother wouldn't have chosen you for this task. Wow, I can't believe it. 
But I gotta say, I'm a little perplexed as to why you are so surprised. Isn't this the reason you came back? How was I supposed to know? Because I asked your father to inform you about it months ago. Daddy knew? Oh, there's tea. And we were just recovering. And we were just... This story really brings a twist and turns. I love it. Uh-oh. It smells burnt. Your makeup pancakes. Hmm, I'm trying. I guess I'm apparently where you got your cooking skills from. Hmm, definitely not from mom. Oh, she would curse at me if she saw this. So how was your talk with Pastor Andy? We'll just say I found out that I, well, he told me that I inherited Martha's store and that you were supposed to tell me about it months ago. Right. Why didn't you tell me? Your father takes the pancakes out of the pan to a plate then garnishes them with a lot of syrup because I didn't want you to feel pressured to come back. No matter how much I wanted you to return, I wanted it to happen of your own accord, not because of business or obligations, but because it was your wish. Hearing that his reason for selfless finally gives you the reassurance you've been looking for all this time. Okay. Okay, so it's not as dramatic as we thought. It was for good intentions. It was for good intentions. Okay, we can't be mad about that. He understands why you left more than he has ever admitted before. You know what? Let's try it. Try what? I'll stay for two full weeks and then we'll see if it's meant to be forever. What about your job, your life, and Kyle? I can work a few weeks from home and Kyle... Tell your father the truth about Kyle. I feel we need to come clean to him. I maybe have stretched the truth a bit. Meaning... Meaning that there's a wedding in 27 days. But my real fiancé left me just a few days ago. So Kyle isn't your fiancé. No, he's my best friend. Oh, thank goodness. I'm sorry... To say this, I doubt he would have made you happy. Oh, I guess this is it then. Oh my gosh. We are not ending it right there, people. So this is all yours. Apparently, Kyle scans the room where one wall is filled with all types of fabric from the bottom and the top. There's another room with all the clothes she has ever created. She never intended to extend, expand her business outside of this town. If I showcased them online and targeted a wider audience, I'm sure I could sell them in a heartbeat. And what happens when you sell them all? That's the catch. If I decide to take this story, I have to keep it alive. But you won't take it, right? I could travel back and forth. It's not that far from New York. I could travel easily, travel back and forth, and work a lot from here. Also, it would come in handy if I find a way to make some money down here. If I marry Mark in a few weeks, I'll be spending a lot of time here anyway. You're still trying to get him to post you? I don't know what will happen. But thanks to your help yesterday, we're having a date tonight. You were totally right, making him jealous and acting like it were a thing made him melt like ice cream. But I just told you that... Told me what? Forget about it. So you still having wedding fever, hmm? I still haven't found my mother, Kyle. Plus, I invested way too much time into it already. Who cares about invested time? You reconnected with your family, found your inspiration, and you got your own store. This is not lost time. He's not lying, though. Just let your stupid ex have your wedding and stop forcing something. I can't do that, Kyle. Why not? Because I... This was the plan. Why are you trying to talk me out of it now? Forget about it. Kyle, wait. Oh, she's, she's running. I said forget about it. I just don't understand. Why are you suddenly trying to talk me out of it? I thought I had your support on this. I just don't want you to rush into something you could later regret, okay? Marriage is something so pure and I don't want you to just marry anyone for the sake of a wedding. But because you really found your special someone. And you think that Mark is not the right one for me because someone else is? Could be, yeah. And who could that be that is someone else? Kyle, this is your chance. This is your chance we're waiting for. I don't know, there's so many people in this world, Kyle. Please admit your feelings so we can move on. Please admit your feelings so we can start building a bridge to this relationship. Because we can make this work. We inherited Martha's store. It's close by to New York. We can go back and forth. You're, girl, you're a famous designer. Plus, you can start selling your clothes in here. You can do the cute country store while still going and living a fabulous New York life. It's perfect. And Kyle could be your man. Or Mark, I guess, too. I don't know. We're still early in the story. Actually, I'm going to talk about we're early in the story. We're on, like, what, chapter 10? Yeah, we're almost halfway there. No, we are halfway there. What am I talking about? I'm sure there's someone who will be able to make all your dreams come true. Um, I think that person might be closer than imagined. 
Kyle, are you sure that you don't want me to stay? I mean, who will make you laugh when I'm not around? You need to go back to work. And I'm sure Natalia still expects a conversation that isn't over the phone. Yeah, probably. But that could wait. You take a deep breath to get a grip on your feelings. You love Kyle deeply and the last thing you want for him is to leave. But that's exactly why he has to go. I need to forget about him. Um, Give him a hug that speaks more than words could. Yeah, I guess that. You swing your arms around his waist and pull him in tightly. Your fingers rubbing over his back slowly. Drive safe, okay? I will. And don't call while driving. I don't want anything happening to you because that would really tear me apart. I wish you all the best on your dates. Oh no, maybe we should have told him. As he drives away, I wish you could have told, would have told him how you truly felt. If the circumstances would be different. I don't know what I'm doing here, y'all. I'm stressed. Let's get ready for my date with Mark. Okay, flower dress. That's cute, but let me try. No. A romantic dress? I don't know if I want, like, total romantics. Let's go cute. Let's go cute. It's classy, but it's it's cute and done. I'm sure knowing Mark, we will do something where sneakers are the better footwear. Right on time. Oh, Mark, great to see you. Likewise, Mr. Forrester. So how can I help you, son? I'm here for Bianca. Oh, of course you are. Better get down there before you say something that embarrasses me. And note to myself to stop talking to myself. So you two are giving another shot, huh? Um, we... Because I would absolutely would love to have you. Daddy, shush. Sorry, Bianca. I'm just so excited. Oh, yeah, but we gotta go. But why don't you stay for coffee? We could. Oh, I've made big plans. If we're kind of in a hurry, Mr. Forrester. Tomorrow? Tomorrow it is. You two have fun. But not too much fun, okay? <laughs> why did I want to talk to him again? <laughs> okay. I'm so glad I told Daddy the truth. Otherwise, this could have ruined it all. Where are we going? Bowling, roller, skating, horse riding. I haven't done that forever. It's a surprise. You've got to be patient. Fine. You look absolutely stunning, by the way. It's really hard for me keeping my eyes on the road. Oh, you know how to clean up nicely as well, you know. Don't say that. So why? I can absolutely return the compliment. Because I'm getting red and I want to continue to look handsome for you. Aw, you'll look handsome to me even if you turn as red as Bob's cowboy boots. After an over 20 minute drive, you arrive at a restaurant way out of town. You're a bit tense because you didn't expect this. It's so quiet in here that you can hear a pin drop. Um, you didn't have to hold open every door we walked into, you know. I'm just trying to treat you how you deserve to be treated. Oh, very thoughtful. Mark has escorted you to a fancy French restaurant. Everyone here is dressed up in glamorous dresses and you can smell fancy perfume from almost every table. Normally you wouldn't mind the ambiance, but today you were mentally prepared for something else. Something you have missed dearly. I can't believe I'm wearing sneakers in a place like this. Are you alright? I didn't expect this. To be honest, I expected something else tonight. Oh, you don't like it? Um, I do, it's just, I thought we were just getting a burger. Not this. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, this could impress some other woman, but I don't need this. I don't need all this. Oh, gosh, I feel so stupid right now. Why? I really wanted tonight to be perfect. I mean, I know you will probably head back home soon, so I wanted to make sure tonight is everything you would have wished for. I assume this is what you would expect from a date nowadays. He thinks I'll wish for all this? Um... That's really sweet of you, Mark. That is really sweet of you. But just because I moved into a big city doesn't mean I don't enjoy what we used to do anymore. I really feel like a fool now. And this suit is way too uncomfortable. I already can't wait to get it off. Plus, have you seen the mini? I don't even know what half this is. I ordered Escargo. Uh, what even is that? Oh, uh, Mark, that's... May I represent you freshly steamed snails with a delicious walnut pesto. <gasps> snails? I can't believe we dashed out of the restaurant. Heck, there was no way I was going to eat snails. I have once. How did they taste? Slimy. Suddenly, your stomach makes a loud gurgling sound. Hungry? A bit, a lot, yes. Great, I know exactly where to go this time. This is cute. This is real cute. I, we have to embrace this. We really have to embrace this. We're on the date. Let the real date begin. Home sweet home, but it doesn't feel like home without you. Kyle, you gotta speak up. Baby, you gotta speak. 
Okay, everyone, we're two more chapters and we are on chapter 12 of 17. We're probably getting down to the wire here, people. Kyle, Mark, let me know in the comments below. We have country boy Mark, city boy Kyle. Possibly for me, what I want to do with her is I want her to go back and forth between the city and the country. I think she's both at heart and she should embrace both of those. She has the store she dreamed of as she was a little girl, but she has the city in her big designer life and she loves being away. The, living in that country town full time, it's clear that she loves it, but it wasn't for her. She left for a reason and we cannot forget that. So she's a city girl, but she's country too. So I kind of want to do a mix. That's what I'm trying to end her story as. If she takes over the store, she loves it. She's home with her family, but she also goes to the city and she loves her fabulous New York lifestyle with one of her men. But let me know who you think should accompany her. If we can even have both. I feel the both might be Kyle, whereas country only might be Mark. But you don't know. Mark is surprising us. Let me know in the comments below and I will see you on the next one. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you then. Bye, everyone.